You know, it's remarkable how God's word, as you're getting into reading it, comes to life. It could be just a sentence or a word that often just stands out and prompts me to just pause and reflect on it. Recently, I came across Psalms 115, 18, but we will bless the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Praise the Lord. As I prepare for an upcoming surgery with a projected six to eight week recovery, time is gonna be on my hands. And I find comfort in these words, just seeing the word time there. I felt like God understood that during this time, you know, I'm not gonna be at my desk as usual and focusing on the next thing that needs to be done or moving around, going places, driving, all of that will stop. Instead, I will stop and let my body start to get that time that it needs for healing. Well, sitting isn't my usual inclination. I've transformed my bedroom, and you can see a picture here, to a comfortable space complete with a well-placed bookshelf. It's just a glimpse of the books and magazines that I've arranged at the perfect level for my comfort sitting in a chair, and these books and pops of color serve as a reminder that spring is on the horizon, my health will improve, and the fishing season isn't too far away. While surgery really isn't my ideal circumstance, I'm grateful for the opportunity it presents for my body to be restored to its optimal state. And embracing this time word for healing, I can reflect on the wonderful gift of time that God has bestowed upon each of us. What are you thankful for today? Remember, because he lives, it does change everything.